Hello, Michael 2 who wants to be a FIFA millionaire. The quiz show, the quick you, the audience, a FIFA millionaire in just 15 questions. We are back for FIFA 22 with a very big announcement to kick off the year. Really excited to tell you about the uh, brand new sponsor on the channel that is Aniva.com. If you're looking to buy any games, they have over 20,000 digital products on their site, especially FIFA 22, which is just around the corner. Um, FIFA point codes, Xbox and PSN gift cards. Aniva.com is the place to go with great 24-7 live support and uh, an excellent trust pilot score. So really don't have to worry at all if uh, anything does go wrong with any of your purchases. For example here, £150 worth of gift cards can be uh, purchased for under £130. When you do use the discount code Luke Pingu at checkout, save an extra 3% on all your purchases. So please do go check out in the description. Um, really good site. I've used it myself. It's, it's really good as well because when you get into the checkout, it will tell you, are you sure you want to buy the code for this specific region? Because there's multiple different regions on the site. So they do double check that you want, for example, with me, a UK code. Um, but yeah, it depends where you live, of course, what region you need to buy for. So yeah, please go, please do go check them out. If you plan to spend a lot of FIFA points this year, um, you know, you'll save a lot of money by just essentially buying those gift cards or PSN um, gift cards. So shall we get into today's first episode of FIFA 22? Let's play Who Wants to Be a FIFA Millionaire? Today in the hot seat, we do have a FIFA YouTuber and streamer from Hertfordshire in England. In the last series um, on FIFA 21, he did uh, start off very well with 25,000 FIFA points. I can't quite remember what you did in the uh, second one you did, Tom. Do you remember? Um, I think I, th I think I had it was the, that was the one where I went like really rogue and was throwing all kinds of stuff out there. It was like knocking it out of the park. Like, I didn't really know what was going on, and I just managed to eke my way through. I think I was either 12. I definitely got 12, if not 25 yeah. again. I think it, I think it was a twelve. I think you've got twenty five once, um, and then you got a uh, nice little duo session with uh, Joe Creasy, which uh, didn't go too well. Didn't go too well. I thought it went quite well. Well, yeah. you didn't get twelve thousand, did you? You only got a thousand, I think. Yeah, you're only as you know, you're only as good as your weakest link, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't know how many questions Creasy got right, but it was it was good for the entertainment purpose, um, <laughs> and it was almost like having a viewer on the series. A lot of people say, "I'll oh, get a viewer on the series, Luke." There you go, there's Joe Creasy. <laughs> I'm sure I'd love to. You've got a YouTube channel, mate. How can you say something like that? I guess, yeah. Maybe I'm putting him down a little bit, but he, he does watch the series, so I'll give him some credit. Um, oh, yeah, how, how do you think you're going to do today, Tom, on FIFA 22 knowledge? Um, right, this is a bit of a problem. Um, obviously, you've asked me on for a reason, because my daughter is due literally the day we're recording this is the day when she's due. Um, so if so, Tom just runs off and the episode ends in like yeah, 20 minutes then that'll that's be why. why but Luke wanted to get me on first because of course like I might not be able to come in like three or four weeks because I might be busy changing yeah. nappies and stuff um, <laughs> and I'm not going to lie I am honestly the most or least hyped person about FIFA 22 information I really don't care until I've got the game I don't care about any of it so I'm not going to lie, the only information I've got about FIFA 22 is the revision I did 10 minutes before coming on. Brilliant. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's like some, uh, what's it, GCSE <laughs> level revision. Yeah. You've got your book just cramming. outside the exam hall. Cramming, mate. Just looking cramming. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's see how you do. 15 questions, three lifelines possible, 100,000 FIFA points. Best of luck, Tom. Let's play. Who wants to be a FIFA millionaire? Question number one is for 100 FIFA points. Which of the following FIFA titles are coming out next year? Is it A, FIFA 22, B, FIFA 23, C, FIFA 24, or D, FIFA 25? So when you say next year, you mean 2022, right? Repeat, this, you know repeat the question. I know you're trying to get me out on the first question. Repeat the question again. Which of the following FIFA titles are coming out next year? Next year. Currently it's 2021 and FIFA 22 comes out in 2021. So it's FIFA 23. Final answer, you absolute rotter. And that is the correct answer, well done, Tom. <laughs> That's a nice, nice little... You just got to listen to the question. It's not, it's not exactly a difficult one. If you he got me listen. out on that, that would have honestly been... Uh, that's like Homeless Penguin level. Yeah. But worse. I, might, I might just ask that to like every Everybody. single person and eventually somebody will slip up. Um... <laughs> So I'll have to oh, wait and see yeah. if someone does. All right, well, we're off to a good start. Question number two is for 200 FIFA points. Which of the following contestants have individually won the most amount of FIFA points on Who Wants to Be a FIFA Millionaire? 
Is it A. Pieface, B. Richard Buckley, C. Capcom Tom, or D. Danny Aarons? I think it's Danny Aarons, to be honest. He was the first one, Pie Face. I think it's, yeah. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's Danny, yeah, Danny Aarons. I'm pretty sure. Final answer, Tom. I'm, yeah, I'm going to say final answer. I'm pretty sure, but I, I honestly, I, I haven't seen the Richard Buckley episode, so I'm not 100%. And you do have the correct answer. It's Daddy Aaron's well done. Uh, I think Buckley got 25k, just like you. Mm. Um, Pi went okay. out on 25k and went down to 12. And Danny obviously walked away with his 50k. And mm -hmm. he's uh, so far the best. But Good lad. Good maybe, lad. That, maybe that will change in FIFA 22. We'll have to wait and see. Got a bit more of a structure this year. Not, not just randomly picking through contestants, you know, when I need a video. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to be a bit more organised is what you're saying. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's just like you know the last like few months of Fifi, just there like trying to just get over the line to get just to the get next anyone, one. anyone who's willing, come please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Question number three is for three hundred Fifa points. What rating requirement is for the repeatable eighty-five times ten pack on Fifa Twenty One Ultimate Team? Well, this ain't is FIFA, it a this ain't Fifa Twenty Two. No, it's this 87. is the FIFA Twenty One question. It's eighty-seven. Is it a eighty-five? B eighty-six? C eighty-seven? Yeah, no, or D eighty-eight? 85 times 10 is 87. I know because many times I've tried to submit an 85 team into that thinking that it says 85 rating, but it doesn't. It says 87 every time. I've done it enough to know. And that is the correct answer well done, Tom. Um, yeah, I think I've done about over 100 now. Easily. Um, I think player? get a... I got a team of this season, Messi. Yeah. Who's technically the best. But then a Foden, a Cunha. I've got literally everyone other than Neymar the big and Bampe. <laughs> yeah. And for oh, me, I got Mbappe. I was quite lucky. I got Team of the Year Mbappe. I was yeah, happy. Mbappe, well done. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Didn't get any of ones though. Yeah. I'd, the thing is, though, like I'm trying to like you, you grind in there for those players, but you're never going to use those players. So it's like just literally card collecting purposes mm -hmm. um, for when you do a retro FIFA and stick a whatever. Book, stick a book. Yeah, I guess you. Can I don't know what way. you're talking about. I played Weekend League last week. Question number four is for 500 FIFA points. Which of the following base gold FIFA 22 centre mids? are now in the Hullet gang. Is it A, Genie Wijnaldum, B, Marcus Loriente, C, Leon Goretzka, or D, Frankie de Jong? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hullet gang, 80, yeah? Yeah, all 80 plus. De Jong, Lorente, who else? Goretzka, Goretzka. and Wijnaldum. I don't actually know. That's so tragic, I genuinely don't know. I can only imagine it's probably Lorente. I know there is a lot of hype going on around about his card, but I don't actually know. Like, I know that he's got 88 pace as a centre mid, it's absolutely disgusting. I don't genuinely don't know. Let me try and think, like, De Jong, is he gonna have it? Probably not. Wijnaldum, probably not enough defending. Goretzka, Goretzka's a scary one. It could be Goretzka. Oh man, what a joke! Already, what so was this? Is there four, any? Is, four, 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 I might, I might have uh, put this slightly too early. I, I just thought you'd like maybe see on Twitter like people are, are going on. This player's got open, all eighty yeah. plus. But you very well. I won't say anymore because it's difficult with the ratings just randomly getting dropped here and there. All right, let's let's try and have a think. Right, I could use a. Could use a lifeline you ask the audience but it feels a little bit soon for that like i know lorente has a lot of hype because he has 88 pace and people are like this is crazy he's a center mid for goodness sake but will he have all the stats will he have the complete set of 88s like i can imagine his passings there but it'd be something like his physical or Shoot his him. defending his dribbling will be fine because he's played like right mid and center forward before Goretzka's probably the one that I'm leaning to most just because of his t if you think yeah okay let's 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 think of it this way team of the seasons of FIFA 21 Goretzka has a card that has got 90 plus on everything whereas Lorente I don't think he does I think he's got like a 91 rated card centre mid and it's not as good if we were talking about his right back card then yeah it, w it would be like Lorente but I think I'll go for Goretzka just just, just because we're so early, I've got to go for it. Otherwise, we're not getting anywhere, here, are we? Not used a lifeline. No, just send it, mate. Send it. Goretzka, final answer. It wasn't Frankie Diong. Yeah, I didn't think it would be. 
doesn't have the defender. It wasn't Gini Wan Eldon. Okay, that's good. Pace. Right, so I'm 50 50 at this point between the two that I thought it could be. I bet if I did a 50 50, those two would have turned up as well. No, I don't know about that. I don't know if it's rigged like that, Tom. <laughs> Just depends on what number comes up. And you do have the correct answer, it's correct to your order. <laughs> um, yeah. That, that basically, it got tweeted literally last night. We're, we're recording this on the Thursday. I think his card came out on the Wednesday, so. So, wait, what's Lorente missing out on then? What is Lorente? Uh, shooting. I shooting. Think. Yeah. Oh, right. He's got okay. like 70. I think he might be 78 or 79 shooting. He's wow, like okay. really close. That is close. That, that is yeah. like stupid close. Right, fair play. I maybe, I maybe could have put this question a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, I, I, think I think you did well with the, the working out of the team this season. Mate, just might as well. Knowing that that was. Might as well just punt for it. See if we can get the boys <laughs> and uh, the girls some good number of FIFA points. Question number five is for 750 FIFA points. Which of the following nations did not have a FIFA 22 hero card? Is it A, Norway, B, Sweden, C, Denmark, or D, Poland? Um, heroes. Guys, you got to make, i got to remember all of them. Right, I know Oli is a hero, and he's Norway. We've got Poland, Sweden, what was the last one? Denmark. Denmark. Sweden. I think Lung, Lung, Lungberg is back. Freddy. Yeah, old Freddy's back. He's Swedish. And then there's um, a Dudek in there. Dudek for Liverpool. So he's... I think he's Polish. Yeah, he can't be any... Yeah, no, not with a name like Dudek. He's not going to be Danish, is he? Yeah, okay. I'm going to have to go with Denmark, mate. Final answer. And that is the correct answer. Well done. A little bit of a nice one, you know, just working out through through the nations. The weird thing about Freddie Lundberg is his icon card was a right mid, um, but the hero cards are left mid, which is a bit strange. Um, did, did, did they have a year where he was an icon and he was a left mid? I swear he was a left mid. Was I don't he not? think he was. I'm pretty sure he was always a right mid. Um, no, can I have a look off a bit? Nah, because you might see all the other Oh, okay, okay. okay. Well, to... Hands off, hands off. <laughs> hands off. I'll, I'll I'll look for you, Tom. How about that? Yeah, yeah. Satisfy my curiosity, please. No, I'm I... pretty. I'm pretty sure he didn't. Um, and Joe Cole always played left mid for England. He's but a his right hero winger, card's a right mid. Yeah. yeah I've seen that. It's a little bit strange. I'm really hoping that he's got five star skills because he's one of the most uh, skillful English yeah. players we've ever Lum seen. was always a right mid as an icon. You think? You think um, they'll give five star skills to uh, uh, what's his chops? Uh, Grealish. Grealish. He's the yeah. only other English player I think could even have a shout of getting five star skills, to be honest. Yeah, maybe Bellingham. I don't know. Oh, yeah, no, um, yeah, I don't know. You've got no. Oh, Sancho. Yeah. Sancho's the other one. Oh, so Stupid yeah, yeah Sancho. Sorry. Obviously. <laughs> nice pace uh, downgrade, though. Oh, yeah, don't worry. He'll he'll get team of the season and, you know, <laughs> off it goes. What, in like May? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You're already, you're already thinking about May till we're in September. <laughs> fine. You'll get team of the year. Question number six is for 1,000 FIFA points. Which of the following ratings is the base gold Jude Bellingham on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team? Oh, no. Is it A, 75, B, 77, no. C, 79, no. or D, 81? We don't know. Have you seen his card, Tom? I have. I have seen it. <laughs> I thought it was 82. Oh. <laughs> oh. Who are you thinking of then? I don't know, mate. You see any English player that plays for Dortmund? I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I, there's no way. I, I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm going to have to ask the audience. Like they all go and go on Footbin and Google it and stuff. All right, let me do you want to do it on yours yeah, or Yeah, I'll tweet out. Right, so Tom's used this. Ask the audience um, to guarantee that 1,000 FIFA points. It's the logical thing to do. Didn't know the answer. Um, and we do have the percentages back in. 75 with 0%. I think that's the first time we've never had somebody vote in for one of the answers. Um... 77 with 9.1%, 79 percent with 63.6, and 81 with 27.3. So what are you going to go for, Tom? Um, I trust I trust my Twitter audience. I'm going to go with them. 79. And that is the correct answer, Walden. Well You're guaranteed a thousand now. Good work, guys. Um, well done. Well done, people on Twitter. It's, 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 uh, it's nice when the audience actually know the answer. A lot of times, they mess <laughs> it up. Question number seven is for 2,000 FIFA points. Which of the following gold cards are now walkouts? Is it A, Werner, 
B. Hakimi, C. Griezmann, or D. Gerard Moreno? You what, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Which of the following gold cards are now walkouts? What if they don't? What if they don't walk out in FIFA 22? I don't know if they walk out anymore. Do they? Maybe they don't. 86 or above, basically. Ah, right, okay. And who was it? Werner. No. Hakimi. Maybe. Griezmann. Gerald Moreno. Wait, Griezmann. You're asking if Griezmann is still. Eight. Was he this year? 87. He did have a rotten season, didn't he? Absolutely rotten. Stood by, you got team of the season. So we got Werner. Obviously not <laughs> laughable season. Although I still think he'll come good at some point. But I think he'll get sold before he has a chance to. Um, Moreno had a team of the season. Who else was there? Griezmann. Hakimi. Um, Hakimi. Oh. Uh, didn't get team of the season though. Are you going to do it off who got team of the season then? I might do. I think I'm gonna go. It's either I think I don't think it's Hakimi because like he didn't get. We just had the big move, and also he's like a right mid, right back, something like that. I don't actually know. And but they are infamous for not having, like, like high ratings. They just, generally don't. There aren't that many high ratings. Like if you compare the number of high rated strikers versus the number of high rated right back, left backs, or right mid, left mids, like the strikers will just walk all over them. So. Um, also, Carl Walker is 85 rated because I've seen that meme, the one where they give him the fake Yeah, they the fake revealed card. I, I, I need to do that as a question, but I'll that do it in like yeah, a what couple weeks' time when people yeah, forget. Yeah, what pace did they give Carl Walker when they uh, yeah. Yeah, memed it or something like that? But yeah, so I, I can't see it being Hakimi, so that means I've got to choose between Griezmann and Moreno. Griezmann didn't have a good season, in fact, he actually got sold to Atletico Madrid. I think um, it's got... actually a loan, technically. But Was it? it, it, it oh, right, it's right. basically they're going to buy him in 12 months anyway, so it's basically buying him. It's yeah. just the way La Liga works. Yeah. Um, so that means makes me think... But Moreno, he was 83? Yeah, he was 83. Was he 83? I think he was 83 this year. Would he have got a jump of three? Maybe. Mm. Uh, it's definitely between those. I, I can't imagine it's the, the other ones are included. Definitely not Werner. <laughs> I think I've got to go. I think he's a little bit out there, but I'm going to go with Moreno. Final answer. Final answer. You're right to rule out Werner. Yeah, of course. He was a walkout last year, and now he's 84 rated. No, he wasn't. He was 85 last year. Oh, yeah, he was, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. <laughs> I'm sure, wait. Havertz and him were 85 rated. Yeah. Yeah. They were. I keep on seeing them in the 85 times 10. I know. Hakimi was an 83. And he's been upgraded to an 85. Okay, that's good. So he was borderline. Griezmann was 87. Has he had a minus two? Or a minus one? Moreno did have a plus three CD up the cracked hands. It is uh, Gerald Moreno. Well done. Griezmann's gone that's down to an 85 ew. now. So. What a strange turn, though. I I'm glad yeah. I got it right, but what a weird one. That Blumin hit Moreno is now higher rated than Blumin. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Again, your team of the season logic, just yeah. That, that I mean, them, EA don't EA follow EA follow a very stupid pattern, so just following through with stupid logic <laughs> usually does work. Which of the following gold cards have had the biggest ratings decrease on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team? Is it A. Ericsson, B. Berkey, C. Marcelo, or D. Hazard? Marcelo, Hazard, Berkey. What a random selection. Ericsson. Well, it's because they've had like quite big downgrades, but one of them's had a bigger downgrade than the others. Okay. Well, I don't even know about Ericsson. I haven't seen his card. Is he even on the game? I mean, I haven't actually followed up after what happened to him in the... He's got a card in the game. With, I'm not sure whether he's playing or not, to be honest. Um... Yeah, it does have and a card on the database. And we're saying Eden Hazard, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. My, well, my immediate instinct would be to go for Hazard, but I I don't watch any of these leagues, so these are obviously like... I can't use my team of the season logic on this one. They stopped doing downgrades last year at Winter Reef. They didn't, don't do winter downgrades anymore because people get upset. They're little babies. 
Um, play better is my advice. Um, but yeah, I don't know because I don't watch any of these leagues. I don't watch Serie A, I don't watch La Liga, I don't watch the Prem, I don't watch anything. I watched the Euros and that was about it. Um, so, I'm going to have to... Got two lifelines. Do a 50-50, mate. Yeah, let's go for it. So Tom uses 50-50 and the two ready answers are Ericsson and Berkey. Brilliant. Doesn't actually really help me. At least I don't have to say one of the, the Real Madrid boys now. Yeah. I was, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that Hazard um, has gone from 88 to 85. Yes, and Marcelo's true. gone from 83 to 80, I think. So they've also gone through. So it's going to be someone who's gone down four ratings. Now, would Berkey go down four ratings? Why would he go down four ratings for Dortmund? But would they be so harsh as to reduce Ericsson by four ratings? God only knows, mate. Oh my god. Who could I even ask? I'm trying to think who would have any, any Dortmund idea. Fans or... Dortmund fans. The only Dortmund fans I know are is blooming elite that he won't be awake. He's American. <laughs> Good point. Uh, or Ch Chani? No, Chani's Chani's Bayern. <laughs> Chani's Bayern. <laughs> and I don't, I don't. The only Inter fan I know is Kurt, and I don't know him at all. Like I don't yeah. think he follows <laughs> me. So, God only yeah. knows, mate. Um, um, like realistically, so you've not, have you not seen either of these cards? No, I don't think so. On this year's. Let me have a look. See who I've got in the old contact list to uh, ask. Is James, James is someone who just retains information even though you don't think he should. Hello, Danny. Hello, buddy. You're right, mate. Uh, not really. I'm struggling. <laughs> this is uh, quite difficult. I'm not gonna lie. My five minutes of revision before coming on, it, it hasn't helped. It's not enough. These no questions right. are, I'm here. are deep. And I'm, are deep. I'm, how, what, what were we saying? How many are we on? Well, three thousand FIFA points, so it's 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 not great. Okay. Um, is it is it football related or? It's no, it's uh, FIFA twenty two ratings related. Okay. Because right. that's all I've got. There's question content at the minute. Right, that's, that's all fine. I can make questions about. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Should I should I give you the question? I'm happy. Yeah. Go on. We're lucky because we've already used the 50-50, so there's only two oh. right answers. So you've, okay? used two, you've used two lifelines already. Okay. I've used, actually, this is all of them. This, I've, used this, <laughs> I've used the Ask an Audience as well. Okay, go so, on. So, the question is, who received the biggest downgrade between FIFA 21 and FIFA 22? Is it either... Before you answer, I've got a piece of information to add, which might help. Is it either it is. Berkey or Ericsson? Oh, I thought I was going to say Ericsson. Ericsson got a minus three, so I, 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 I haven't even seen Berkey's card, to honest. Okay, now the thing is, okay, here's Luke let a little bit of information slip. When I used the 50-50, it ruled out Hazard and Marcelo from Real Madrid, and he said both of them had a three drop. So if you, do you know that Ericsson's yeah, got Erickson, a three drop? Ericsson was 85 and now he's 82. All right, well, then we, when we sort it, because it's not going to be Ericsson, is it? It's going to be Berkey. All yeah, right, mate. All right, take that. Absolutely smashed it. We'll, we'll go Berkey, Luke. Fine answer. I don't know why he's been downgraded so much. Has he lost a hand or something? We Is that your final answer? Yeah, it's going to be the final answer. And that's the correct answer. Well done. Um, obviously, okay. if, if you used a bit of logic, Tom, from the fact that you watched the Euros, Berkey didn't play in golf for Switzerland, did he? No, some did, but that doesn't mean that he has to be blooming. Uh, but he, he also didn't. He Wait, didn't so play what, for what Dortmund now, as well. 80? Who did he yeah, play in Dortmund? Now. Did they play hits? Yeah, hits. Oh my yeah, no, god, he's only 78 Kobe. rated. What are they doing? There you go. I'll take that. Cheers, Danny. No worries. Top lad. I mean, I didn't really I'll do be... much, but I'll take it. <laughs> well, you told me the rating of Ericsson. That's the, that's the only piece of information I needed. <laughs> there you go. I can't believe they did him dirty. That's me. Mm. That is honestly down. very crude of him, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed. It, it, in in EA's defence, he didn't play that much for Inter. Question number nine is for 4,000 FIFA points. Which level one gold cards have had the biggest ratings boost on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team? Pardon? Who? What? What card? Ratings boost. Right. Is it A, Phil Foden, B, Bastoni, C, Kessi, or D, Ruben Diaz? Okay, Bastoni, Diaz, Foden, and Kessi. Kessi. 
Oh my god, this is so difficult. All right, I know a couple of their ratings. I think both Kessie and Bowden are 84s. What were they before though? 76 to 84 for Foden. Wait, wasn't Kessie 76 as well? Oh my god. Ruben Diaz was 81. And he's not got... I'd, surely I would have seen if Ruben Diaz was now like 90 rated. What did, what's 76 to 84? Was he 76, Foden? You sure 76? I don't know. I'm not really. I'm just... I'm throwing it. I'm throwing it. Bastoni, I don't think, has gone up that much, surely. Do you remember what he was this year? Yeah, he was 76. But unless he got an upgrade. He, he might have been like 72 before that. <laughs> he might have been upgraded in the winter. I don't know. Right, I'm going to say, let me just think. Let me just think. Luke, let me think. Right, okay. <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, 76 to 84 is a difference of 8. Diaz would have to go to an 89 to have a difference of 8. So I'm going to rule out Diaz. <laughs> I'm not sure if Foden was actually 76. Bastoni. I don't even know, man. This is crazy. He didn't get team of the season. None of the well, future Chessie, star, He did get a future star, but that's not performance-based, is it? <laughs> oh, God. This is actually gross. This is you're actually. Are you going to use your team of the season logic again? I don't think I can because none of them had a team of the season other than Kessie and Diaz. Diaz is already off the table for me. I'm not going with him. Ruben Diaz. Um, was Kessie 76 or was he 78? I have a feeling it's just going to be Foden. I mean, it's not that big a drop of FIFA points, really. It's 3,000 FIFA best? points, Tom. Yeah, but like the difference is jumping up is is much much bigger than the drop down. Like it's not that much bigger than the. It's like it's kind of like a 50-50. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to figure out what Bastoni's rating was. I don't even know what rating he is now. So how's that going to help? I don't know. Stupid game. I can't, I can't believe it went so far down. Was Foden 76? I think he was. Do you know any special cards that you got? Man of the match, which I used, 81. Do you think the, I what, think five was... upgrade? Yeah, man of the match, I might have. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's too hard. Do I just swing? I feel like I should just swing. Foden feels like it's an obvious answer. Bastoni, I don't actually know what rating he is. He might be like 85 or 86. I just don't actually have a clue. Do I just walk away? What's the step up? We're going for 6k. Yeah, 5k after this. 5k. So I either get 2k extra or drop 2k back down to 1. This is a poor performance. This is very tough. <laughs> very tough. Unless you've like scoured footbin for a good hour, then this like is what, quite what like like the host of like the show might have done just before, man. <laughs> I can't do uh, all these questions. Why can't you do like who was the fastest? Like the stuff I actually revised. I can tell you stuff like that. No, oh, right, you got the fa who, who was the fastest then, Tom? Mbappe. If you don't count the icons. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not. I'm not going to ask you. You know, Mbappe. What about the fastest? The fastest defender. I don't know who the fastest <laughs> defender is, Luke. That's another one I checked. <laughs> Oh dear. God dang it. Why didn't I check how fast Bastoni was? That's the real question. Because mm. then I might have seen his I think, rating. I think Diaz actually, he got an upgrade, but his pace got downgraded. Yeah. Yeah. Which was a bit odd. He's definitely not in the running Diaz for me. I think Kessie was 78 this year. They've... And you know he's got an 84. I know that he's got an 84. Yeah. I've seen that card and know it's 84 rated. The question is, was Foden 76 rated or was he 78 rated? I have a feeling he was 76. The real question mark is Bastoni because I don't even have a blooming thing about him. I genuinely haven't got a clue. But I'm just going to swing for it and I'm going to say, is it Foden? Final answer. If it's wrong, I'm sorry, but at least I've tried. Bastoni got a plus five. Yes! From 75 to 80. Yes, that's good. Ruben Diaz got a plus six from 81 yes. to 87. One of these players 
have also had a plus six. It's Cassie! Had a plus seven. Yes! Yes, I got it right! Foden was a 79 rated gold on FIFA 21. Oh no! So the correct answer was Cassie. Oh, no! No! You know, you know that logic, Tom, of the man of the match that you talked about being an 81? No, how am I supposed to know that? Honestly, that is like that is a hard. You had the knowledge. You had the knowledge of the eighty-one Foden being a man of the match. You've asked me so to surely. You've not only asked me to remember what a gold player was that hasn't had a gold card in about four months because he's been a player of the glory the whole time. <laughs> Fair enough, yes. mate. So wait, what was Kessie? Kessie was seventy-eight. Uh, seventy-seven, and now an eighty-four. Seventy-seven. Oh no. Oh, sorry. I tried. I tried. You I was tried. close. I was close. Yeah. I didn't think. I didn't it, think it, it could off. be Bastoni, but okay. yeah. Oh, Let me well. just uh, go through these last few then. Question number ten would have been for five thousand five points. Which of the following players have the following face card stats on FIFA twenty two? <laughs> Is it A. Jack Grealish, B. Bernardo Silva, C. Jadon Sancho, or D. Di Maria? <laughs> um. I think that's Jaden, you know. Uh, Di Maria, I, yeah, I, I saw his card. I don't think that's him. Jack Grealish. I don't think Jack Grealish is that slow because they were all taking the mick out of Carl Walker for having 78, and he wouldn't be doing that if he was 80 pace. Yeah, I'll have to. I think it's Jaden Sancho. Unless Sancho's like 81. Maybe Sancho's 81 pace, that is. I'm just looking at the pace trying to work it out. I don't know. You could take a swing, whatever whatever your inkling is, Tom. I have a nasty feeling that because I think Jaden Sancho was 82 and I think he got a drop of one pace because you said that to me earlier. I think that he's actually 81 pace. There was Di Maria, Jaden Sancho, Jack Grealish, and who was the last one? Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva. I think I don't know. It could be Bernardo Silva. Maybe, I don't know, Grealish? I'll just go Grealish. Why not? It doesn't, it's not like this. There's anything on the line at this point. <laughs> and you do have the correct answer order, Tom. Um, <laughs> How is he only got 80 is, pace? If you look at Bernardo Silva and Jack Grealish, they've all got identical <laughs> pace, shooting and passing. Those two do. Oh, do the they? The difference is, yeah. And then the difference is that Bernardo Silva's got plus three dribbling. And a little less physical, um, and less defending, something like that. I anyway. mean, yeah, that's it's, yeah. these these are that's, these are quite tricky questions. I'm not gonna lie. That's, that's, <laughs> but you swung well there. You got I wouldn't right. have been like if I was still in, I would have had to just retire at that point because there's just no way that I would be yeah, able to get. That was just a swing. Yeah. Question number eleven would have been for six thousand FIFA points. Who is currently the lowest rated Premier League player on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team? <laughs> is it A. Ailing, B. Bolton, C. Carson, or D. Saar? I don't know any of them, mate. I genuinely don't. Is it Lee? Is it lowest? It's a no. Why would I look at the lowest? They're not even all released yet, mate. Oh, like, um, I guess it's going to be a Leeds player. Um, I think you. I think I saw a tweet from you saying that like they butchered Leeds ratings or something like that, or someone had. So I'm going to say Ailing. And it was actually Bolton. He's uh, he's the only bronze there. I thought I'd just put Ailing in for the banter because I, 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 I don't just, even just, know. Just to be, I don't just even to... know. I don't even know who Bolton is to be honest. So. He, he plays thought... for Man City. He's a right back. Oh right, Bron I thought I he's thought literally that was... the only bronze at the minute. So I that's thought... why I put that in there. I thought he was a that football was a club. So one. yeah, fair. I mean, I've never even heard of him. I should have just said it to me. He's just a football club. Yeah, that, that that would be the logic there. Just I've not heard of you. Surely he's the lowest. Yeah. How many different boards do AC Milan have on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team? Is it A3, B4, C5, or D6? Uh, they've had a few three, upgrades to boards this year. Three, four, five, and six. Well, obviously, Kessie yeah. is one. And I'm just trying to think who else they've even got that's like. They had Roman Yoli, but I don't think. He, I think he'll probably be like 82 again this, this year. Deo Hernandez has to be one. Um, Dalot don't play for them no more. Uh, my nan is almost certainly a board now, and he plays for them. Ebra was a board last year, but I don't think he will be this year. Um, Chalinoglu left. Um, I'm just trying to think who even plays for Milan, to be honest. 
Who's their strikers? Any defenders. Uh, defenders. Who is there? Who is there? Other centre back. Maybe there's a good. Oh, Lawrence. Simon Kier. Simon yeah. Kier was one. I'd, I'd probably say. I'd say if it's Theo, Kessie, Kier, and uh, Minan, I'm going to say four. You think Keeper got a downgrade? Yeah, I think he did. He actually got an upgrade, and it is five. Oh, uh, really? Keeper's an eighty-four now. He had like a plus fifteen pace boost or something. What? Oh, they must be trying to make amends. Now. They're trying to make amends yeah. with him after they. Uh, they've done quite a few. To be fair, they've made like plus fifteen or quite a high boost on quite a few um, older players. Like vertonghen has got quite good pace now. Um, mm. Who else has got really good pace? Pepe's got like, eighty pace, and he's ridiculously up. Like, there's a few there. So yeah. I think it's quite good what EA've done just to uh, kind of stretch out the. Uh, Meta. Question number 13 would have been for 25,000 thief points. Which of the following foot hero cards have the following face card stats? Is it A, Al Jabba, B, Mario Gomez, C, Diego Melito, or D, Fernando Morientes? Uh, Al, Al Jabba is the Saudi guy from La Liga, I think. I don't really know what he had, but I think that's too high for him because he's like 86. Um, then you've got Morientes is actually the highest rated. I have no idea anything. Or joint highest with Ginola, I think. And then... Who else is there? I don't even know who else there is. Was there, who else did we have a question? Who else else? Who Mario else? Gomez and Fernando Morientes. I think it might be... You know what? I have a weird feeling it's got to be Mario Gomez because of the physical. That's all I'm thinking. Big, strong, relatively quick. I'm going to say Gomez. And it was actually Morientes. Um, um, yes. Yeah. Basically, they're, they're the same kind of striker. They're very similar in stats. Like they're both very physical and good at shooting. Um, Morientes is actually, actually the highest. Well, he might not be the highest rated anymore. He might be actually. I think he is actually. Yeah, he's joint he's highest. Joint with, highest um, with Genola, yeah. And Pele, the gone and Pele. Oh Abdi, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we, I'm sure you'll be using those uh, hero cards throughout the year on uh, Team Takedown, won't you? Oh yeah, definitely. They'll be good for chemistry. Or I might have to actually ban them because they might be too difficult to detect. I get, yeah, that's a good point actually, because then you got like an extra kind of question. Because if if you say is it a special card, then you got to go down. Is it an icon or a foot hero? Yeah. So that might be quite um, interesting. Question number fourteen would have been for fifty thousand FIFA points. You said you revised the uh, pace stats, Tom. Mm. Which of the following FIFA 22 silver cards have the most pace? Is it A, El Mozo, B, Nanu, C, Carlos Gutierrez, or D, Gabriel Torres? I'm just going to say D because I actually don't know at all. Like, I genuinely haven't seen any silver cards. You didn't, you didn't look at the silver cards. I literally didn't, even, I didn't look at the silver cards. <laughs> Um, and it was actually Nanu, the uh, Portuguese. Oh, God, I was so close. Not Portuguese. He's, he plays for Porto uh, right back. Um, yeah, he's got like eight, 86 Yeah, that guy, that guy that I've never seen ever. Yeah. <laughs> Question number 15 would have been for 100,000 FIFA points. Which of the following FIFA 22 players are the oldest? Is it A, Mario Gomez, B, Pandev, C, Dempsey, or D, Pepe? That's a funny question. Pepe the so centre-back, right? Yeah, i got two then, current players yeah. and then two foot heroes. Pepe, Dempsey... Mario Gomez, he only retired recently. And who was the last one? Pandev. I think it's going to be Goran Pandev, you know. I don't know why, but I think it probably is. Goran Pandev. <laughs> and it was actually Pepe. Pepe's the oldest. Oh, and wow. He's got an 80 pace centre back card now. That, what, that is absolutely bonkers that he's like the fastest centre back. And he's, yeah, okay. Right, yeah. okay. He, I was, mean, that, he was older than all these, but I think I did that question before with Ibra. So yeah. I thought I'd just throw in Pepe. I'll tell you what, I think if you gave me these questions maybe a month into FIFA, I probably would have fared a lot better. I'm not actually too yeah. disappointed with how I did because that was insanely hard. Mm -hmm. um, Especially like all, all we've really got to go off is the few players that are on like foot bin or foot whiz or whatever. Yeah, exactly. So it's, there's it's not, not even like, like a complete can, list. Yeah, there's not even yeah, a complete play. list. So this probably by the time the video goes live, most of these questions will be wrong because there'll be new players that have beaten a lot of the... Yeah. Uh, ratings and stuff like that but yeah you did well anyway tom i think nine Cheers. out of uh, 15 not bad all right so i'll take it so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video leave a like if you did and i'll catch you all next time